YouTube. What is good? It is Pep Talk. I am back with another banger, of course. That is all I do. But it's a very quick one today. Guys, make sure you do something you love and fulfills you, okay? And I'm just going to say this now, that a lot of people, a job is a means to an end, and I totally respect that. And, you know, I want people to learn from what I'm feeling as well. So I am in that exact same position. I am at a job that is a means to an end. I was previously at a job that I could no longer work in. Well, that's a story for another video. Um, that did fulfill me. Wasn't the end goal. Wasn't necessarily something I wanted to do long term in the future. But it did make a difference in people's lives and it did fulfill me. I am comparing to how I'm feeling now. This job that I'm doing now is only three days a week as well. It's not necessarily full time and that other job I was doing full time and my energy is feeling significantly more drained even for three days at this job than it was for the full time job I was doing for five. That fulfilled me. Really important to listen to your body and your cues. How are you feeling when you're waking up in the morning? What do you feel when you're at your job? Do you feel motivated consistently? How do you respond to the people around you? How do you respond to management if you're not in a manager position? What is your body telling you? Because your body will obviously never tell you directly. It will never tell you, hey, you're at a job you hate, but it will give you signs. How well are you sleeping? How are you eating? How's your routine? Are you exercising regularly? even in those days where you have work? Do you have the energy to do things after work? These are very, very key signs. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is that when I was working full-time, I had a lot of energy even after work. I was working with children and I was doing eight to nine hour days. Saying that, I'd come home and I'd still feel super energized and super motivated to go out and achieve my goals. This job, three days a week, a little bit more travel that I, I do for those three days. So that obviously is a factor that's draining my energy. However, whenever I come home from this job, I feel exhausted. I feel tired. I feel almost fried in the brain. It's like I'm not at my highest potential. And I'm not operating at the frequency I should be. You need to listen to your body. Do not let a job take away your soul. Do not let a job or a situation take away your childlike innocence that everyone has, childlike soul that everyone has, that the matrix that we live in takes that away from people. Make sure you really listen to what your body is telling you. I cannot stress this enough. I have been in a position the last few years up until now where I haven't had to really deal with with this situation, I was it previously at a job that I loved, with people that I loved, and making a difference to people's lives, which was children and parents. So, regardless of the fact that some days you know how children children are, it can be very uh, a huge responsibility. It can be a lot of energy that you need. Even all this energy that I was using, and some of the days with children were unbelievably exhausting. I was still never at that point where I was totally exhausted every single day. Even when I would have a break, like a break at the end of the year around Christmas when it's school holidays and I would go back to work, I would never feel depressed going back. Whereas with this job, when it's Sunday night, I am in ultimate dread mode. I'm, all, I'm dreading what's ahead because I know it's taking my energy I know it's putting me in a position where I'm too exhausted to do things when I get home. And at the end of the day, it's no excuse because people have a lot worse circumstances than I do. But why I'm sharing this is that I want you to learn from my experiences and what's working or what isn't working for me. And I feel at the moment that it is a means to an end. Like I said, people need to be put in this situation at times. People need to feed families. Fortunately for me, I don't have a mortgage. I don't need to feed families. So I am very blessed in this world 
and in a very privileged country like Australia where you know a lot of things are spoon fed to the people saying that it's still draining my energy so I just really wanted to put this out there that listen to the cues that your body is giving you whether it's an activity that you're doing or a job that you're doing if something is is off you need to listen to your gut that is where the intuition comes from that's where the intuition comes from I'll do a video on that in another time but just please listen to the cues because over time and it might not be straight away your body will slowly give you signs if you're thrown out of a routine if you had a really good routine going for you and you're no longer having that energy to keep that routine that's a big sign that something is draining your energy that's putting you off your purpose if you're not sleeping well if you have disrupted sleep if you're up late the night before almost doing things to distract you from the fact that you have to go to that job the next day that's another sign okay how do you feel when you are at at work do you are you making a difference in people's lives or is it just another corporate job another sign if you don't feel like you're making a difference if you don't have that fulfillment and guys I can't explain how this fulfillment is I can't explain this emotion but you'll know what I mean if you're doing something that is fulfilling you know if you're making a direct impact in people's lives you'll know there's a certain feeling to it and it just puts you in a high vibration when I was at this previous job I personally felt I was a better version of myself I really do there's things that I've improved on since I've been at that job and I feel like I'm in a more balanced mindset but I honestly believe that I was at a higher vibrational frequency working there because I felt more aligned and you can't fake being aligned you either feel it or you don't so please guys and I know it's tough because people have to work jobs they don't like I respect that but please it is very possible for you guys to do something that you love even if it's not your end goal there is more fulfilling things to do out there at the end of the day of course money is important but if there is a job that pays a little bit less that you love you have no idea how much that's going to impact you in the future okay you have no idea how it's going to impact you in the present because when you you'll be living more peacefully in the present moment you'll be have more energy to be able to do something that will push you towards your end goal if there is a, a goal in mind and there is something you want to achieve that will help you even if it's less pay you'll just have more energy to do other things so I really wanted to put this video out today guys because this is how I'm feeling a lot of the videos I will be putting out is kind of how I'm feeling at that time but what I really want you to take from these videos is just what you can learn and I know it's not much I'm not an expert with things you know, I'm not necessarily someone that has a lot of knowledge about everything but what I do have is an ability to pinpoint my own emotions and intuition so if I have that capacity to share this with you guys and to share my experiences so you can learn from them of course I definitely will and this is something that I'm passionate about this is something that it doesn't feel like a burden because I'm making a difference in people's lives so make sure you find that something as well whether it's an end wherever it's end game whether it's something that you're passionate about that you want to do which is in your purpose or if it's not necessarily end game but it is something that it's least making a difference in people's lives please be conscious of that thank you for listening to my video this is pep talk have a blessed day and i will catch you guys at the next one